Hey guys, back for another one. Uh, this one's another requested one. A few people have been asking me for some basic knots. And well, basically it's how to tie the hooks on from whiting fish into chasing jewfish and cobia and largefish. Just, just some basic knots to tie the hooks. So this video is how to tie a hook on a fishing line for beginners, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie four knots with the trusty old Dacron here, because it's a lot easier for you guys to see. I've got a couple of tenos here, and I'm just gonna tie four basic knots um, that are very good, very, very strong, easy to, easy to learn for all aspects of fishing, okay? And when I start tying the knots, guys, I'm gonna have the camera here in front of me pointing down, so you guys will see the same thing I'm seeing from my, my angle, and you'll be able to follow along. Anyway, um, let's get to it. All right, guys, let's um, get into it. So the first knot we're gonna tie is just a simple blood knot, okay? We're just gonna tie a simple blood knot for the beginners out there. If you're in the rivers chasing you know, smaller fish and brim, whiting, flathead, and just smaller fish up the rivers and canals, uh, blood knot's usually fine. So what we'll do, got the old hook here. Okay, dark on here, or I should say mono, our leader. So what we're gonna do is just go through the eye, all right? Have a nice bit of a tag there. Now what we wanna do with the tag, this cut off on here, right? It's just twist it around, like so. Just go one, two, three, four, five. Usually five times, okay? Now you've got your little tag there. What, uh, when you twist it, it made a little hole at this end, okay? So what we're gonna do is go through that hole there. And this is where everyone thinks the blood knot stops. So you go through there and you pull it tight. But no, if you do that, it can pull out under pressure. When you put it through that little hole here, you make a bigger hole here. See that hole? Now with your tag end, I've made it a bit short, sorry guys. You go over the top and back through that big hole as well, like so. Now you can pull it all up. You just pull it nice and snug. Okay, shorter tag's a bit hard, but there we go. Through what through the little hole, back through the big one, and then you just you can just go pull it down, and there's your blood knot. That's very simple, very quick, very easy. Okay, that's just a good all round little, uh, just a nice basic knot to get started with, and works for most fish, but especially inshore and out fishing with the kids, it's easy. It's an easy knot to learn. But what I didn't mention now, and I should have, is every time you tie a knot, no matter what knot it is, always wet your mono down, okay? A bit of saliva on it before you slide. That way, there's no line friction. You're not gonna, you're not gonna burn the line, get a bit with a bit of friction and damage it. Just wet it down so it slides easier. It doesn't damage the mono. Okay, there's the first one. That's very quick and simple. I'll, tie, I'll cut a bit off up here. Now on his other end. We're gonna tie, this is the main knot, main knot I tie. This is not most people, or pretty much all fishermen should know and should tie. This is also very simple, but probably one of the best knots and strongest knots you'll come across, okay? This one's called a uni knot. So once again, we're gonna go through the eye of the hook. This is the one you should really tie with everything. This is the one, if you're gonna learn any of these knots, guys, this is the one to learn, okay? So we're gonna go through the eye like so. Pull up a nice bit of, you want a nice long tag here, okay? What we're going to do is go up a couple of inches and then pinch it with the other, with your left hand. See that? So you've got the lines there doubled over and pinched and then you've got the long tag here. Sorry, the camera went out there. So now what we want to do is go under the double line like so and that makes a big loop here. Now you just bring your tag in back through that loop like so. And you do that five times. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five. Okay, once again, wet it down with some saliva and down here, pull it up. You can see it pulling, pulling up there. It's like a hangman's new sort of thing. Don't pull it too tight. Just pull it up so it's snug, not, not super tight. Now what you want to do is just slide it down like so. It just slides down. When it slides right down to the hook, now you pull it tight and pull, give you a tag a bit of a nudge, like so. And there's a uni knot. That's the knot you all should learn. That's the type, that's the best one. It's easy to tie and the strongest, okay? So what we'll do is just cut the tag off there, cut the tag off the other one. 
So there's two not. This one I mainly use for, oh, I don't use it anymore, but if you're new to fishing, it's just a blood knot. It's a very quick, easy knot. It's one easy for the kids to learn and use in rivers and canals and everything else. It's a great little knot. If you're a bit more serious, going kind of live baiting, offshore chasing bigger fish, or even just you want to just learn one knot, this is a uni knot. Look this one, just tie the uni knot. It works on hooks. It also works very well on tie and swivels. It's just a good knot for hooks and swivels. Tie that one and you're pretty safe, guys. That's a really good knot. Okay. The next one we're going to do is just a, an easy snail, a common snail. If you want to snail your hooks on, if you don't want to tie those knots, we can do a snail. Here's a basic snail for you. So once again, got our trusty tenno, our dacron. We're going to go down through the eye from the top down. See how it's nice and straight along the shank there? Okay. What I'm going to do is go a bit of a tag, long tag. Right. I'm going to pinch the hook at the top here, bring this back over. Okay, now what we do is go behind the hook and we're going to start wrapping. But pinching there, you're making a little loop with your fingers. Now we're just going to start wrapping like so, around. Okay, understand? So that's two, there's three, four, five. I'm just going to go six, like so. Now what we want to do is a little loop here. We pinch with our fingers. You want to go back to the front end of it, this side, the front side. And put your tag through that. Okay. Now, with the other end, start pulling down. And there's just a common snail, an easy snail. You can, okay, just lock that off. And that's locked off. That's just a good, easy snail, right? Um, I usually tie snails if I'm like live baiting and I'm running a two hook rig. So I've got a hook here, uh, another one here, and I've got a two hook for a two hook rig. That's one snail. I actually tie a different one. A lot of guys don't really like this one I'm about to show you, but I'll be honest, I've caught a lot of big fish with it over the years. I've never, I've never broken it. It is never undone. So I'll show you the one I use mainly. Because when I tie this one, I, I can't really get the adjustment length, like the length right. With the next knot, knot I'm going to show you, you can get the adjustment right, the length right between the hooks, what you want. And it, I've never had a break, guys, or undo, so I'll show you. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's another snail. It's a very good snail. So we're going to have two hooks. So with this one, on the bottom hook, I'm going to tie a uni knot, because I usually tie uni knots. So once again, nice long tag. Bring the tag in back under, okay? And then back through the loop five times. So, four, five. Pull it up, wet it down with the liver, nice and snug. Then just pull it down, lock it off. Okay, there's a uni knot. Now we're gonna go up to the other end. I'll, I'll cut that off there. Okay. So now we're gonna go up the other end. You've got one hook sitting here. This is your leader going up to your swivel or your FG knot to your braid or whatever. So one hook. Now with the other end, I'm gonna go through the back of the eye like so, right? Once again, you can see the line's nice and straight along the shank of the hook. I'm gonna adjust it down, say my live bait's about yay big, okay? I wanna adjust it there. So now, just gonna hold it like so. And with this end, you tag in, come back around and start twisting like so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna go eight. And with your tag end, your cut off end here, just go back through the back of the eye like so. And pull up. And there we go. There's a basic snell. Okay, to a uni knot. There's a two hook rig for going live baiting or putting big whole squid out or a nice big fillet or something for a big fish. But that's how I usually rig up when I'm live baiting or big dead baits for cobia, uh, jewfish, big cod, whatever I'm chasing. That's a rig I usually use. That knot never undoes or breaks. And it served me well over the years for a lot of big fish. And it's just an easy way, I like tying that one because I can adjust the hook. Wherever I start tying the knot, that's the adjustment. With the other snail, you can tie and then it might end up down here a bit closer or up. And it's hard to get the adjustment right. This one, you can get the adjustment spot on every time. And on this end here, guys, well, most of us nowadays run FG knots. So I'll run like two metres a litre to me hooks. Maybe a sinker, maybe not, depends on where I'm fishing. 
And then I'll have two, two to three metres of mono leader or fluorocarbon leader. Then an FG knot straight to braid off that end. Okay. And you're all set up, ready to go. That's just four easy knots. Um, you can go chase whatever species you like with these knots. But if you are going to learn just one of them, guys, just choose a uni knot. The one I tied second, the second one in there, you know, uni knot's the best one. You can use it for swivels, hooks, everything. It's just a good all round, very strong knot. Practice that one. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, see you next week.